Step one, let's convert this guy into a proper fraction. Now, one is equal to four fourths. One is equal to four fourths or four quarters. So if there are four quarters in one, this is gonna be four quarters plus three quarters. Four quarters plus three quarters. How many quarters is that? Seven quarters. Yeah. Now that we've converted this mixed number into an improper fraction, we can go straight across. Seven by two, that's gonna give us 14. And four by five, that's gonna give us 20. Now, we can simplify this, and we could have done it beforehand. That's okay, you probably saw it. What's the common factor here? In fact, what's the greatest common factor? The biggest number that goes into both of them? You'd be right if you said two. Two is the greatest common factor that goes into 14 and 20. So we're gonna cancel out the two because this is the same thing as two times seven. This is the same thing as two times 10. That greatest common factor of two, any number divided by itself, uno. And so what you're left over with is seven over 10. Numbers. Two and three quarters, well, and every two, there's gonna be eight quarters. So this is just gonna be 11 quarters. Then you're in business. Now that you have 11 quarters, you can go ahead and multiply straight across. But first, look to see if there are any common factors you can cross out. Now, seven's a prime number, so you can't cancel anything out with the four or the six. And the same with 11, it's a prime number, so you can't cancel anything out there. So we're gonna go straight across. Seven elevens, that's gonna be 77. Six fours, that's gonna be 24. And Bob's your uncle. We're offering half off subscriptions, and if you've already subscribed, that's half of half or one quarter. You won't find a deal anywhere else like this. Subscribe today! The Greater Gators class slash the bonus episodes are a paid upgrade. Certain exclusions apply for residents of California and New Jersey. See the link below for details. God bless. Mix number times mix number. Don't get scared. Let's convert this to an improper fraction first. Because there are four quarters in one, you have eight quarters plus one quarter or nine quarters. Now let's convert three and five sixths to an improper fraction. You have six sixths in one. So three whole numbers will have 18 sixths. And thus, when you add five sixths, you're gonna get 23 sixths. Good news. The 23 is prime, so you can't cancel anything out with a four, but we ran into this in a previous key number segment. There is a common factor here with the nine and the six. In fact, these are both multiples of three. So anytime you divide a number by itself, you're gonna cancel that number out and get one. And that's why you're gonna have up here, you're going to have three. And down here, you're going to have two. So now it's three quarters by 23 halves. And you can multiply straight across. There's nothing else to reduce here. Prime number, prime number, prime number, composite number. Okay, three twenty-thirds is gonna give us 69, and then four twos is gonna give us eight. That is a big improper fraction. But you don't have to leave this as an improper fraction. You can write it as a mixed number. How many eights go into 69? Well, you're gonna have eight eights in 64. So you're gonna have eight with a remainder of five eights. Let's multiply this mixed number by this mixed number. Let's convert to improper fractions and then we'll multiply straight across. Three and two fifths. Now, in every whole number, there are gonna be five fifths. So three is the same thing as 15 fifths. That's gonna give us 17 fifths. Over here, we're gonna have, in every whole number, seven sevenths. So we have seven sevenths and four sevenths, or 11 sevenths. Don't get scared now. You have the improper fractions. You can multiply straight across. Top guys, bottom guys, you have 17 by 11. So 17 times 11, that's gonna be 170 plus 17, that's 187. And then five sevens, that's gonna give you a 35. Yeah. 
Welcome to the bonus section. Mix number by mix number. Step one, convert to improper fraction. Step two, lose your mind. Step three, multiply straight across top.